What is up, you fucking nerds? Welcome, welcome to a cool, interesting new game I just purchased, CrossCode. It's available for $19 on Steam. And uh, this game is a top-down hack-and-slash pixel art, obviously, as you can tell by the pretty beautiful artwork that I can see here. Um, uh, it's playable with a controller. I'm currently using my clear DualShock, ha, DualShock, clear Xbox 360 controller that I purchased. Um, you can also use the keyboard and mouse, but this game seems like it's going to be a lot easier to control with a controller. Uh, I don't know too much about it, except that it was overwhelmingly positive uh, for the reviews on Steam. I read through about 15 or 20 pretty detailed review comments before I decided I'd purchase it. I also looked at the videos. It looks pretty action-packed and fun. I'm, uh, I'm really into the whole top-down game stuff, so... Well, really, top-down hack and slashes, ones that are fluid and good. I'm going to always go back to Hyper Light Drifter when I talk about that, because Hyper Light Drifter really changed the way I looked at that style of game, you know? Um, sadly, I do not have good sound optimization, so what you're watching, and I also have no editing skills, so what you're watching is raw, uncut. This is just, what you get is what you see, you know? And I'm not going to be able to have the sound on very loud because it's going to overtake my voice. Hello. Beautiful little area. I know you can hear me. Where is he? Shizuka, I have no... I have to ask you to leave. Of course, mystery player here. <coughs> what do you think you're doing? I think I'm fucking doing whatever the fuck I want. Time is running short. We don't have a choice. To abduct a dying person and let him work until his last breath? Wow, that's... That's kind of brutal. I will go and talk some sense into him. Don't get in my way. Alright, use the left stick to move around. So far, no attacks. Please don't do this. Uh, I like the speed I'm moving right now. This is very fast. Hmm, that's linear as heck. You're just like, here, have this pathway to go. I mean, I'm... I shouldn't say much. Oh, oh, here we go to uh, an official thing. I'm sorry, but I can't let you go any further. What is this, a programmer in the game? Dodge. Hold the left trigger and press left bumper. Press right bumper, right bumper, right bumper, right bumper. Okay. So. There's dodging mechanics. Um, the combat's really smooth. I like that a lot. I like this. I like that dodging. I like that attacking. It's nice. Feels good. That's what I wanted. Good feeling combat. You know this is what he wants as well. Sure you'd like to think that. You won't listen. Alright, here we come, motherfucker. Cold based? How very creative. Cold bait. Oh, she's got magic. Like that little extra shit that happened, you know, the whole thing zooms in. <laughs> I like her. She's uh she's like uh, uh, uh you cheap you cheap gamer. All of his hard work will be lost. Don't do this. I'm I'm gonna do it. Looks like I've got fire, like, as an aspect right now in my character, which is cool. I wonder how much I can change that. The music's still too loud, I feel like. Oh man, serious combat here. Just watch. Charge. Press and hold the right trigger. Let's go. Release. Wow! Cool! Some pretty fucking... Pretty fucking impactful attacks here. The level threshold doesn't exactly work in your favor. Alright, let's see what we can do here. Uh, do, 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 do. Not much. Just a room. Up here it is, this 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 person. Oh, look at that. I like that uh, design on them, you know, like they're 
They've got shadow on them one side and the glaring of the computer screen in front of them. Oh, of course, they're related. You are in no condition to do this kind of work now. All you should do is rest. Why should I rest when I'm way beyond recovery? I need to finish this work. It's my final task. I told you about the agreement. I finish this and they will let you go. No, I don't want this. Satoshi, stop it. He wants to save you. It is done. Oh! Oh, he just died. That's so legit. Yeah, you better be fucking sorry you fucking got me involved in all this. But that's okay, because it's a ballin' game. It feels like so far. I'm enjoying it. The artwork is really great for being this old school style. I don't know, I've always had a thing for the old pixel design. You could do a lot with it. And even in its basicness, it's it's fun. Here we are, there's the title drop. Motherfucking cross code. Cool little loading thing in the corner there. I like that little design. Initializing avatar. Oh, hey, I look slightly different. There you are, initialization successful. Is that a brother? Is the speech synchronization malfunctioning? Apparently. Well, something had to go wrong, but you understand me, correct? Cool, so I'm a silent protagonist now. Yes! Yeah, I am fucking confused. I don't know what the fuck's going on. Small steps. Do you remember VRPs? Virtual ricochet projectiles. Oh, cool. I actually saw this in um in some of the videos for this game. There's there's a lot of puzzle solving in it too. Balls. Balls. <laughs> She's like, yes, I know what balls are. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm done. I'm done already. Let's do this. Let's go fight some balls. VRPs are your most essential tool and weapon. Use the right to aim and the right bumper to throw. So. Ah, cool. That's my projectile shit. Nice. Nice. Awesome. Repeat this exercise with an extended distance. She's just like, oh my fucking god, come on, you guys. Alright. Ah, I missed. Come on, come on, you fuck. Very good. The charge mode. Charge mode activated. Activate charge VRPs by aiming for a longer time. Let's practice right away. Oh. Something. Ah, oh, here we go. The puzzle aspect. I see. I understand now. Uh, hey. That's cool. That's really cool. Now we're gonna fight regular enemies? Yeah? Oh, this techie ass bitch. Carla. Yeah, I'm. it's silent protagonist. God. Is there no way to fix this? I hope they don't fix it. Cause that'd be a really funny, uh, allude to the whole silent protagonist thing that a lot of games have. Sergey! Her name's Leah. I wonder if her brother's like dead and, and his 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 thing that he did where he was like, it is complete. He like put himself into the game as like a conscious transference kind of thing. Ball throwing. Yes. Balls. Yeah, let's go do this other stuff. Press that to access. Oh, wow. That's really cool. It shows you, like, the whole fucking previous 
Press, notice a typo? Press F7 to open the Lang editor and send us the fix. That is awesome! Wow, it, it lets you just like, be like, hey, you fucking fucked up with your typos. Ah, oh, that's so cool, because I do that a lot to people. Like Game Informer? Oh, you'd be amazed at how many fucking like, grammatical and spelling errors Game Informer has, and like run on sentences and shit. Oh my god. They shouldn't even, they shouldn't even be a magazine anymore. They're so fucking lazy. They're like, oh, we've got big words, but no sentence structure. <laughs> What's the use? You know? It's like having a giant fucking sword, but not being strong enough to carry it around. It looks cool, but what use is it? Let's get started. Your task is to reach the door at the end of this room. Don't mind me. I'll just stick along and keep an eye on you. I might give you some hints if you ask nicely. <laughs> but, but she can't... She can't ask. Okay, so I go up to things. That's pretty s simple. I just need to see what you're doing. I, I, I don't know. Do I... Do I shoot? I guess I shoot this. Cool, simple enough. I can shoot through walls, okay. Cool, cool. Oh, and it, sh it goes back. I wonder... Hmm. Huh. I see. Ha! Ah, fun, fun. I'm liking this. I'm enjoying the aspect of this, this whole puzzle thing here. Puzzle solved. And I'm sure this isn't the only way to solve these puzzles. Alright. Next stage. Switch is a weight. Alright. Let's see. Do I need to press it? Do I need to hit it? Do I need to shoot it? Do I back need to shoot it? No. Hmm. Ah! Okay, 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 okay. That's cool. So you hit the stuff to... You know... Oh, oh, oh my, okay. Okay. Nobody calls me that anymore. So multiple in a row will not ricochet. Only one, despite the fact that you can have a super insane speed. Okay. Interesting enough. The whole that where the lines come into each other to make the zoom, that's really interesting. Really interesting. Finally, this one's my favorite. Kill the fucking mice, right? You can go wild on these robot mice. It's moving target practice. Have fun. Experiencing slight framiness. Oh, that ricocheting shots thing is gonna be fun. There's just lots of extra damage to be able to do. Huh. But. Hmm, not tall enough? Oh, I see. Okay.
Hey, the points have now finished enough for me to progress. I see. Oh. This is really fun so far. I'm, I'm, in, I'm enjoying myself. Uh, this looks important, maybe? Yeah. Okay. So I have to find all the enemies in order to open the door for that one. It's kind of sad I can only shoot right now. Surprised by my aiming skill right now. Usually I'm pretty fucking shit at this kind of stuff. Welcome to the Rat's Fortress, standing unpenetrated for centuries. I mean, that's, a, that, that's, that's saying a little much for a game when I can just run in and smack the shit down and fuck it up. <clears throat> I think this one might be a game I do consistently with a lot of videos. I'm enjoying this so far. Slow down, girl. Just a short warning. Here you meet your first real enemies. And by real, I mean those things will, in fact, fuck you up. I'm, I'm gonna edit in my own, you know, swearing. Don't get me wrong, they're really easy, but still, if you do get beat down, your respawn point is right in this room. That means there's no real danger. Go ahead and kick some ass. Let me enable the dash module before we start the battle. Dash is an essential in battle, helps you quickly dodge enemy attacks. Already had that figured out. Oh, that. They're like, you're gonna fucking die. Oh, there's like a... Like you can make it even stronger. You can just hold down the controller though. Or hold down the button for a for an automatic feel, you know? I don't know about the whole charge thing. I don't really give a fuck, I don't think. You're not kidding. She's got a knack for battling. Maybe because she's already done this. Conspiracy time. Here we go. What the f Did you see that? I just walk over. There's no jumping. Only at certain points do I jump. But when I walk right through the middle. That's a, that's a weird, interesting little bug right there. I could keep talking to her, I guess, but I don't know if I really care. Get your adrenaline down again for a second. We get to add a bit more edge to your arsenal. A sharp one, so I get my sword. Yes. Virtual proximity impact. You mean pff, a fucking sword? <coughs> Only them close ones, of course. You got that. Sharp as a blade. Now start by clearing that path for us, will you? <laughs> yeah, that was fucking hard. Nice. Ah, I see. That's a really weird way to do stuff, but I like it. It's interesting. It's new. It's different. A second waited is an attack wasted. Yes. <laughs> so fucking true in games. You should know that your strikes have enough punch to interrupt some attacks, so you can just pummel your opponents without giving them a chance to strike back. Sound like a plan, am I right? So, so go fucking goddamn ham and make a true hack and slash attitude out of the game, right? That, I don't know if you can hear my controller like mashing away over here. Die, bitches. That was pretty cool. And you just crossed the finish line. Congrats. Seriously, girl, that was quick. It's like you've never forgotten the basics at all. I mean, they did start you in the game and then give you the tutorial after the game. Which is kind of weird, but it's okay. Honestly, I don't give a fuck about the storyline. I'm paying attention to it, but I'm reading it pretty fucking fast, so it's just like... I don't know. If there's an important part of the storyline, story I'll give it to you guys, but I'm sure it's not that drastic. I feel like there's stuff here. They wouldn't give you a... Oh, come on. They, I guess they would give you an area. Like, what? See, look at that. 
Oh, I see. Okay, I was gonna say, there's no way I'm, like, fucking doing this weird... Just, like, not jumping across things again. Up to the bridge. Am I... I'm on a fucking ship, right? But I'm on... I'm in a game. I'm playing a game about being a game, and I'm in a ship on the game that I'm in that I'm playing. That's a thing. This guy doesn't look fucking ominous at all. Oh, okay. He's got a nice face. His outfit initially gave me a whole fucking evil pirate kind of thing. Does this fucking guy have a fucking, like, crazy jetpack? Oh, that's cool. The initiation, a cinch. The avatar, name's Leah. Hard to miss that last. Hope you didn't run into everything with those horns there. Oh, come on. He's making fun of me. <laughs> Look at that face she made. That's amusing. Didn't tell me you no noticed the horns until now. Oh, she... <laughs> the expressions are pretty good in this. Clean that mess you started in the cargo hold soon. I hold, hope Sergey. Is it Sergey? Is it Sergey? Sergey? I'm thinking it's Sergey. I don't know. You just set up your headset. Da da da. Come on. Let's get through this. All this talking bullshit. I could skip it, couldn't I? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I'm just going to keep going through and reading this stuff. <laughs> yeah, look at that jet. It's talking about the jetpack. I've never traveled to sea without good old Betty. Of course, her name, the, the, the jetpack's name is Betty. An avatar on board just calls for darn trouble. Of course, we'll make this as brief as possible. Gee, Cap, what kind of welcome is that supposed to be? Also, ain't we talking a jet former VRP dueling champ? You keep telling us about all your combat moves from the old days. See, here I thought maybe you want to give Leah a small combat lesson. Yes. That wee lass is up for a battle? <laughs> yeah, of course she is. Talk to me later today. Today. Not today, today. Today. Alright, cool. So I get to walk around and do shit I don't give a fuck about until I get to play the game. And that's why, again, Hyperlight Drifter is crazy cool. Zero dialogue. Sorry, my chair squeaks horribly. The MS Solar. Solaire? God damn, that's a lot of cargo. Wait, am I in a game? The description says that you're in a game. Quite the ship, huh? The view here is nice, but you gotta see what's beyond the bow. Currently steering towards Rhombus, <laughs> Rhombus Square. It, I hope it is literally a Rhombus. I'll be very disappointed. Let me guess, Rhombus Square is like obliterated, right? Overrun by enemies. Ah, let me blow up shit. All these glittering blocks. The Avatar. Look at him fucking like bathed in shadow. She's a Spearmancer class? What the fuck is a Spearmancer? Good to see you. I've got all these strange boxes here. I'm supposed to clean that up. Right now I have to take care of the Avatar. <laughs> the Avatar. <laughs> oh, so many jokes can be made from this. again. She said the, exactly the same thing yesterday. Spearmancer, so awesome. What did she say? That she has to take care of the boxes, but she needs to take care of the avatar first because secretly this chick is the avatar. Robots? Aw, oh, sweet. I can attack while I'm walking around. Aw, oh, wow. It's so weird how everyone is That's really interesting. Must be that avatar, right? Welcome to the MS Solar. If you lean over the railing a bit, you might even see the name of the ship. Make sure you don't fall into the sea. I'm pretty sure avatars are bad at swimming. So I wonder what's up with this whole aspect of avatars. Interesting that they're... It seems like they're not the most appreciated. See what everybody has to say. Who are you? No words. You don't look like a proper seaman. So I reckon you're a guest? Still no problem. I'm in the middle of a maintenance routine, so if you'd excuse me. Oh, I was going in the right direction. Oh, shame. 
Oh, cool. It's the city in the opening menu. So how to start this? Everything's fucked. Welcome to Cross Worlds. One step at a time, Carla. Leah, do you remember the concept of an MMOG, massive multiplayer online game? Yes, of course. Alright. Now, Cross Worlds is like an MMOG with one striking difference. The world of this game is not virtual, it is real. All players are remotely connected to this world through special avatars. Hang the fuck on. There's a movie or a book just like that idea, where it's a real world. It's like, it, it's Avatar. It's, <laughs> it's literally Avatar, but like the blue people Avatar. Remotely connected through a special physical Avatar form. She's even blue, well, blue hair. What? Okay, that's a really cool concept. I'm, I'm digging that. I'm really digging that. But like, what is it? Like a fucked up clone body that was made just specifically for her? If so, there's some really weird moral implications there. I'm not a player, I just work here. In fact, you're the only avatar on the whole ship. So that's... I wonder if everyone's interested about avatarness. This cargo ship belongs to the maintenance staff of Cross Worlds. The actual game takes place in the land... Oh gosh, pardon me, the land you see over there. The playground. The reason you are here, Leah, is because you are not a regular player. You have lost your memory and we are trying to recover it. Okay. See, so you may you have been in this game before. Being logged into this game, there's a chance you might remember your past. And that's why we'll try to get you into the real playground soon. Yeah, in fact, you're gonna try that glass... You're going to that glass palace of a city over there. That's Rhombus Square. It's where all players meet. I still don't see any Rhombuses. Alright, so I think after this, I'm gonna save... Well, we're going to end this video here, and I'll probably start another one for this. I'm liking this game so far. I think it deserves another video. I think this is a good time to split. I'm going to talk to the captain and help him set up that combat lesson. Meanwhile, you can look around the ship. The crew already knows about you. Oh, I'm reading everything wrong. The crew knows about you. I guess you already noticed that, right? You can meet me and the captain later. Till then, just make sure not to fall in the water. They're really intent about me not falling in the water. A close look at those speech synchronization issues. Unfortunately, I do not think I'll get fixed them soon. Huh. I found a little workaround. Maybe I'll hard code specific audio patterns into your speech module. That means you're able to say certain words. That should help a bit, right? So let's try it out. A new word embedded. Hi. 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 She's gonna say hi a million times, right? That should help you start some conversations with the crew. Okay, that's interesting just because I was too quick about cleaning duty it wasn't really that much if you keep this up people will notice what do you mean okay hang on let me look that look at that again that exclamation point you're that avatar girl right oh the exclamation point means you can enter into the conversation at that point Wow, that's really interesting. Hi. I was giving our newbie here a lesson. I've been working here for six months. You sure? Before you know it, you'll be cleaning the whole deck back to front every day. Okay. Hi. <coughs> Must be a guest on the ship, right? Well, don't be so shy. We may look rough, but we're easy building folks. Okay, okay, so now it lets me get alternate. I was worried it was going to be the same conversation again. But it's the same, but different now because she can say hi. Hmm. Checking up on solar panels. These are primary energy source, so they better work properly. Otherwise, our nice solar ship won't budge a centimeter. Trust me, being stuck in the ocean too long is not something you want to experience. I suppose he did not even notice you are an avatar. But the human appearance is pretty convincing. I like this little side conversation here. It's cool. It's not in the way. It's kind of like if you've ever played Pokemon Sun and Moon. Um, your Pokedex gets a little fucking Rotom attached into it, and it'll talk to you. But the speech never interrupts what you're doing. It just pops up subtly on the bottom, you know? I like that. I can still read stuff without worrying about... There's a security camera there. Without worrying about, you know, it interrupting my gameplay. The 
this is weird. I, I'm like traveling behind the cargo. Haha! <laughs> Popped up from back. That's kind of amusing. This is a pretty big ship. I'm digging this. It's a really, uh, really fun game so far. I cannot go up these. Okay, let's talk again. Look who's there. You must be that avatar, right? Welcome to the solar. You lean over. Oh, still not saying anything. Okay. Skip. Yes, skip that scene. Already had that scene. Mark. Hey, new person. Hi! Wait, who are you? Uh-oh. You're that pseudo-robot thing. <laughs> Her face is... She's like, uh-huh. No offense. You see, I recently had this discussion with a colleague. With the avatars being the same as robots. And I have to insist they are not. Avatars are just some fragile, temporary collection of instant matter. Everyone knows real robots are made of metal, like these beauties. So I, ju I just can't share the excitement of my colleagues about your presence. You're just an avatar. No true robot, see? Ha! <laughs> Get wrecked, bitch. Anyway, I have to take care of my babies here, so you'll, you'll excuse me. Hi! Blank. 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 Best conversation. These guys are going to be best friends. I'm checking the containers here. Okay. Interesting. One old flash orange, depending on which one you want to talk to. <laughs> that, that endless high. Avatar incoming! I'm surprised. I expected the embodiment of some gamer kitty's wildest dreams. Lots of beefcake and such? Oh my god. Yet, here we have such a cute girl. That face. Look at that. She wants to get it. Too bad that doesn't really say anything about the player's actual appearance. Just like in the old days of MMOs, some things never change. Oh yeah, you know, like me. You see a game being played and you hear a voice, but you don't see the ugly as fuck face behind it. Oh my, that's some extremely colorful hair you have there. I heard the air avatar designs tend to be flamboyant, but really? Hey, blue hair is cool, and those horns. Hey, the horns are cool! Oh, now she's sad about her horns. You're not happy about them either? Now I have to wonder who put those things on you. Or maybe... With no inflection and in tone, it's hard to tell what type of... Uh, what type of whistle that is. Is there any shit here? How do I progress? I guess I just go back in the building. And then the game's a little framey. Oh, hey, these peeps, my super fans. She talked to me! Jeez, calm down. Yeah, don't pop a boner, dude. Carla just passed by us again. She told us that you could take care of all these boxes here. I mean, really, can you believe that woman? Now she's loading off her work on our guests. Well, she has a point. It's easy to destroy these boxes with your weapons. Oh, I want to see it. No pressure, you know. You're our guest after all, but you'd help us out a lot. So will you destroy the boxes? Fuck yeah, I will. Show us them balls, dude. I'm loving the whole ball thing. Oh. 3D worlds. Oh, no. I see. Only blow them up from the front. Very interesting. Yeah. And yeah, that's see that's what I like. I like this whole aspect. Oh, oh fuck. This whole bouncing on walls and stuff is really cool. I gotta say. It's definitely something I appreciate. Hey, look. Uh, I finished it all. All clear. Truly amazing. I'm really surprised how quickly those balls were flying. What are you even talking about? I didn't see any balls. Only those boxes disappearing for whatever reason. Yeah, you need to wear these AR goggles to see them. What? The balls and their impact are all, like, virtual and stuff. So that's why you've been wearing these goofy glasses all day. Goofy? You know nothing about style, lady. Yeah, whatever. Anyway, thanks a lot for the help. Yes, thank you so much, Miss Avatar. Just assuming I'm not married? Don't assume my marital position, you fucking asshole. Uh, let's try 
Third floor, why not? Go to the cabins. Oh boy. Nothing in these cabins, right? Except the occasional person to talk to. It must be the Avatar. Feel free to check out the ship. It's one of the smaller ships of the solar class. I suggest you don't get near the room across the hall. I'm gonna fucking go, obviously. The captain will not like this. You want to know why? Jet runs a strictly regimented ship. Every room needs to be cleaned before work. I wonder how these guys manage to skip Jet's daily inspection. I do wonder. It looks like my room. He's like, don't go to the room across the hall. Why? <laughs> this guy. Look at this guy playing a game. Oh, wow. I, I like jumped up on it. He's playing a turn-based game too, even. Can't talk. Must defeat. Respawning enemy. Oh, this guy's grinding. I thought they canceled this game. No, it's just the whole demo. Wow. That's... I like that. That's a really interesting appreciation to gamers. Is that the game never got released, but this dude loves the game so much that he's playing the demo version just to be able to play the game. He seems really engaged with the game. We should just let him play. You know what? We're gonna fucking get his way. Huh? Can't see shit, bitch. Okay. Skip that. Uh, I like that you can even skip the little mini conversations like that, too. Hmm. The kitchen? The showers? I don't know. This is a really cool aspect on the game. That that, that was cool. I don't know. It was a, a little bit of a appreciation towards gamers kind of deal. Well, there's the fucking captain. Guess I'm gonna get this combat shit started. Can't talk to these people. Sad. Hi! Whoa, you speak. Is your voice finally back? No. All I can do is say hi. <laughs> Wait, that ain't right. <laughs> <laughs> she could just say hi the whole game with different tones and lengths. Make a whole fucking entire, like, language based off of the word hi. That's all she can say for now. Put out your combat training. This has gotta be interesting. Yeah, I'm gonna stick with the captain. Let's fucking get through this. Damn, what time is it? It is literally midday. It is midnight. I'm sitting here playing this game. I want to play this other game that I got, but it keeps having weird uh, issues. Make sure you clean up the kitchen after you're done cooking, understand? Aye, aye, Captain. Yeah, he's really anal about cleaning. It's not like we forgot since the last time we talked. Sure, wasn't that yesterday? <laughs> oh, that's amusing. I guess I go to the bridge now. Combat lesson, yes. Yes, give me the combat. Ooh, go to the balcony, be part of the ship. Am I gonna fight him? Are you ready up there? Don't forget the goggles. Hi. <laughs> now he looks like a meme. I, learned. I want you to show me your quick was aiming and throwing. Hit that robot from this distance ten times. Yeah, that's that's easy. That turret. Oh, time to turn on the old Betty. Next, we'll be practicing, practicing the dash. Start shooting at you and we'll do two things. Keep your aim on the turret, but don't throw anything. Second, dodge the turret's bullets without losing your aim. Okay. Be faster than that, last. Don't even think about simply walking past them shots. Dash at the right moment. Dodging, now try to handle this attack, lass. What the heck was that? Don't you know how darn guard lass? Actually, Jeff, as a matter of fact, she does not. I forgot to activate her guard module. That is very true. You do need guard. 
I used to not like it. There's one game where I don't use guard. That was the first Kingdom Hearts game. <sighs> Every other game I do other, I, you know, I guard. All right, how do we do that? Just show me the shield. Hold left B without moving. Note the shield will only block the front. Always look in the direction of the attack. Makes sense. And even aim during guard. It's slow, but it works. Wow, that is slow. That time to try to block the swarm of balls. Mm, dude, all on the ball. Wow, that's... Okay. Okay. I'm ready. Dude, this nigga is aiming at me. Straight aiming at me. Lots of, uh, uh, lots of left bumper stuff. I'm enjoying that spin. I don't know why. Yes, I am ready for the battle. That's what I like to hear. Let the battle begin. Alright. like that shielding. Captain, sorry to interrupt, but we need you on the bridge right now. Man, I wanted to see what that little surprise was. Dude, his fucking... Screenshotting that, dude. His fucking face with those stun glasses. I'm just... I can't do it. It's it's great. Bloody darn timing. I bet that... I bet I was just about to find out that secret, right? Turns out it's like some super crazy ultimate boss that you can't fucking defeat like ever. Girl, I have no idea what's going on here. Alright, let's see what the fuck's going on. No transmission, no darn ship to see. What's going on here? Capitan! Capitan! Of course, got it on satellite. Oh, it's a super avatar. What fun this is going to be. She's gonna blow up the whole goddamn shit. Oh! This nigga praises the sun. What a peculiar location we have here. Someone who jumped right out of crossbows. The ship is not part of the bloody parade playground, so don't be a nuisance and get lost. We are aware of the nature of this place, yet we perceive the presence of another misplaced individual. Oh gosh, it's me, isn't it? Foolish mortal, do you truly believe we will abide by your command? Did you just call me mortal, you nutcase? You better leave right now or I'll be glad to tighten your grip on reality. You bore us. We choose to no longer converse with the likes of you. What is this, like some multi... multi-personality entity here? Oh, yep, it was me. Our search has already been concluded. What, what crazy shield? Do not belong here. You need to be removed. Her face is like, why? Wait, you seem all too familiar. Why? It can't be. What? Indeed, it might be here coincidence. We most definitely have a way to be certain. You just threw me. What a convenient stage we have here. Now it's time to face your trial. Oh! See if you are the genuine article. Display the talent shall suffice as proof. Leah, do you hear me? I am just as confused about this whole situation as you are. Certainly a mess, but we will get you out of this. For now, take this challenge and keep him busy. I know this enemy looks intimidating, but do not lose hope. I am confident you will be able to handle this. Because I can see its battle stats. They match your level. 
She's like, alright, I guess. Cool. Does nothing. I failed already. I'm doing no damage. Oh god. Okay. Um, dodging I had to do there, though. That was kind of annoying, really. It was just dodging and dodging until we fucking stopped. Level up. Cool. I like games where I level up. Except Hyperlight Drifter, where you just upgrade your abilities instead of ever actually leveling up. This spinning motion, one cannot find it twice in this world. Surely there is no doubt about it. When was the last time you... We have laid eyes upon you. You within your incomplete vessel. Yes, you have our utmost interest. You will come with us. Then gets shot by the guy with the uh, rocket launcher. Greetings from the solar fist, you pile of instant matter. What's this? Your divine powers can't handle a proper explosion? Well, he looks cool. He's like deteriorating. Let me guess, his gun is specifically made to fight avatars, right? Right now, get the fuck off. Get her back to the teleport as fast as possible. Tell me when she's off the ship. I'll make sure no trace of the cross worlds is left on my ship. <coughs> yeah, let's get the fuck out of here. <coughs> but this guy like kidnaps me and like accesses my whole body or something weird. I don't know. Oh, of course. Hey, it's these guys. These are high-level opponents. Do not fight them. Run to the teleporter. Oh man. But I want to fight them. That's... That's not the teleporter. Okay. Oh! Oh! Okay, yeah, these are strong enemies. Uh, we're not gonna fight them, I guess. <coughs> we just gotta fucking run. kind of sad. I'd like to be given some kind of attempt at fighting them. Oh my god. Okay, just just don't fight them, I guess. Oh, 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 oh. Jump over the container, girl. She keeps saying girl. Like, excuse me. Maybe I'm not a girl. Maybe that's not what my identity is. Woo! God, I keep fucking coughing. Damn, how are we gonna pass this one? Wait, I got an idea. Oh, she could just like generate more boxes? Oh god. Oh my fucking god, come on. I just wanted to get up the goddamn boxes. Come on, get through these cutscenes. Yes. There we go. I mean, this is a lot. Time for you to leave this party. This ain't the time for cheerful goodbyes. Oh god, yeah, get the fuck out. Besides, there are those guys. Enjoy Cross Worlds. Well, the real game has started. Oh, soon. 
He's still like deteriorating. We did it, but he's almost got us. There are probably some enemies left down in the cargo hold. So what are you gonna do? Putting even more trash in my cargo hold? Playtime is over. Uh, neutralizes avatars, right? <clears throat> Rex avatars. Cool. So it's interesting that they have their powers outside of the playground. Wow, that's cool looking. You can even see the huge planet in the background. Though I don't think that actually would be healthy for the planet. We did it, Leah. I still can't believe what just happened on the solar. We're now in the official playground. It's packed with all kinds of security measures. More interference from that blue individual is highly unlikely here. For now, let us proceed. This is Rhombus Square, or more precisely, Newcomer's Bridge. It's the official introduction to Crossworlds. I placed you right in the front of the last part. It's important that we do this part the official way to avoid suspicion. Who the fuck is that? Speaking of suspicion, listen, Leah. It's absolutely essential that you pass as a regular player. We must avoid being reported at any cost. She is not... <laughs> Hi. <laughs> I get it. That's funny. You're in fact not the first player with these problems. Anyway, just be careful. Well, okay. Well, that has been the start. I'm going to stop here. Uh, I'm going to do another game here pretty, pretty shortly. We'll get another video going. Um... It's been a first intro. If you like it, let me know. Um, don't give a fuck about subscribes and likes and whatever. You fucking put those down if you want. I don't, I don't give a fuck about any of that. I'm just trying to show people cool games because I got all this free time. I might as well record it while I play it and give other people introductions to the games. Um, yeah, you know, there you go. That has been this game. I will uh, see you guys for part two.